If you'd like to use these in your face-to-face -face meetings, you're going to love this next tool. It lets you do the same thing in your online meetings. That's coming up. Hello everybody, this is Mike Freidenberg from MasteringOnlineMeetings.com. We help you turn online meetings that are work into meetings that do work. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notifications each time we post a video. This time we're doing a review of Lino, also known as Linoit. It lets you use virtual sticky notes in your online meetings. So let's get started and look what this tool can do for you. Lino is a free online service that lets you create virtual sticky notes. Better yet, it lets you and your meeting participants do it at the same time. Participants do not have to be in the same room. They can work from their own computer stations or from their handheld devices. In addition to basic text, Lino sticky notes can contain videos, images, file attachments, and links. Multiple users can post stickies at the same time. And there are some advanced features like setting due dates on your sticky notes if you're parceling out assignments to people. If you struggle to keep online meeting participants from mentally wandering away, this tool can be a great help. All you need to do is ask a question. Then, because participants have to fill out sticky notes or edit one another's sticky notes, they have to interact with their computer screen and with each other. The first thing you need to do is sign up for a free account. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. The interface is simple and easy to navigate. The main concept they use is something they call a canvas. Here I have several canvases that I've already created. We're going to look at one canvas just to see how the layout works, and then we're going to create another canvas to see how you build out the information that goes into a canvas. The central activity is to post notes to a canvas. And notes can be typed input, they can be media, they can be links, and they can be attachments to documents elsewhere on your computer or in the cloud. And then when you're ready to have meeting participants work with a canvas, all you need to do is share this URL with them and they're off and running. Navigation is straightforward and simple. If you want to move a note around, all you need to do is drag it and drop it. The canvas itself can be scaled up to see the big picture of all the notes or scaled into the detail to see what's happening at a micro level. Down here, there is a canvas navigator that's a handy tool but I don't find that I use it all that much. And there's a dock down here where you can switch between different canvases conveniently when you're working with more than one subject spread out across several different canvases. Some of the features I particularly like are an ability to lock a note in place on a canvas. When you do that, other people can post their notes close to that note and you can easily organize people syncing into categories. You also have the ability to comment on one another's notes so you can add on to what other people have said in the meeting. And you have the ability to form groups. When you form a group, only invited participants can add notes to that canvas. But each participant needs to have their own Lino account, which again is free and easy to set up. Lino is tailor-made for the classic activity of brainstorming. But once you have brainstormed your stickies, you can do many other things with them as well. For example, once you have brainstormed your stickies, you can organize them. You can organize them, obviously, by topic. If you color code them, you can organize them by color. And I find it most helpful to organize by canvas because you can set up multiple canvases and dedicate each canvas to a special topic. And then all you need to do is have your meeting participants visit each of those canvases and do their brainstorming inside each topic. It's automatically a way to get people to organize their thinking into categories that are helpful. And another feature of Lino that I find very helpful is that you can not only have synchronous meetings where everybody shows up and writes on the same canvas at the same time, but you can also have asynchronous meetings where you set up a canvas and then people on their own schedule visit that canvas and add their material to it. That means that Lionel is a very helpful tool for not only creating engagement during a meeting, but also creating an engagement between meetings. So I find Lionel to be an easy to use and effective tool for simple jobs like brainstorming. But because it can get rather confusing when there's a lot of stickies on a single canvas, the tool is probably best suited for a small team 
or for a first look at a project when you don't have a lot of detail. You just need to brainstorm the basic framework. For sure, though, it causes engagement. People have a hard time sitting back with their arms crossed and just being a passive participant when they have to lean forward and create stickies and move them around on Canvas. So it's a great tool for encouraging engagement. And that's it for this tool review. Thanks very much for watching. Be sure to keep in touch and let me know what you're learning about how to make our online meetings more effective. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified each time I release a video. Thanks very much. We'll see you on the next video.